Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out. So at 8.40 p.m., um, I guess last night, patrol officers were investigating a carjacking that had just taken place in the area of Everson and Growth uh, Street. And um, what ultimately, a separate incident happened at that location where officers had to respond and ultimately ended up into an officer-involved shooting. I'm going to let direct, uh, Director Mark Romano give you the information uh, regarding that incident. Mark. Thank you, Sheriff. So like the Sheriff said at 8.40 this, this evening or last evening, our officers responded to the 1400 block of Everson Street in reference to a carjacking investigation. While they were on scene for approximately an hour, there was some information on, you know, obviously they're meeting with the victim, trying to get information on the vehicle and trying to track that vehicle and locate it with the suspects. Um, the victim was an older uh, individual, female individual, and her family members were on the street around the officers at that time. Uh, while they're waiting, trying to get information on the vehicle, try to locate it, an individual who's the suspect in this case approached the family members in the street. He has nothing to do with the carjacking case that the officers are working on. Uh, family members say that this individual started, quote, harassing them. Uh, it's somebody that they had seen in the neighborhood uh, recently. Uh, he's a he's a he's a black black male adult. I don't know exactly how old he is, um, but uh, at some point he pulls a knife, and the officers here, the family members say, "quote He's got a knife," and this suspect is engaging with one of the family members, and uh, the officers able to see a stabbing motion towards one of the family members. Two of our officers approach uh, the suspect. They were able to engage them, engage him, and they, they shoot at him multiple times, striking him, uh, getting him off the person who was who he was stabbing. Um, ultimately, he, uh, he he suffered several several gunshot wounds. Rescue was called. Our officers tried to do some medical and and, and uh, first aid at the scene, but he uh, he died there at the scene, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it's important to note that our officer did as they're trained, handcuff this individual. And while one of the officers was doing the handcuffing, was able to see the knife uh, beside the suspect's body and, and notices that it's, it's, a, it's a butter knife. That's when he notices what kind of, what kind of knife uh, the, the suspect is using. So cold case, our cold case unit is on scene. They're the units that uh, do the investigations for officer-involved shootings. Our crime scene unit is on scene. They're doing the processing of the, of the scene. The state attorney's office is on scene and they're doing uh, their investigation, which is independent of ours. This is our sixth officer involved shooting uh, for the year. And I can give you the officer's names that are involved. It's Officer Jay Montgomery, ID 85553. She has two years on. And Officer J.C. Rose, ID 82806. Officer Rose have, has five years on. This is both for both officers, their first officer involved shooting. And I can take some questions if y'all have any. Just to clarify, you said that the officers had seen the suspect raise the knife, but then the, did they start stabbing the family members or just the scene and hearing? Our officer actually thought that the person was stabbed. And actually, you'll see on video when we release it within you know a couple days here, had him take his shirt off because he thought he was stabbed. Uh, that that's what he believed. He was not. It turned out he was not. That's yeah. And no one else was injured in any of these cases of carjacking. Just the suspect. Just the suspect. Um, the vehicle was actually recovered. Uh, nobody else was injured. Officers are fine. Don't believe so. I don't have that. We don't know who he is. Those suspects were not located, and our deceased suspect is not related to that case. He's still, they're still out. They're still, yeah. that, that yeah. case is still being worked. Still under, still under investigation. Is there anything you guys want to say regarding um, your officers' just actions, seeing that there might have been stabbing? I, I'll say that the way the entire scenario took place, it was very quick. A lot of, a lot of confusion, a lot of noise. Uh, you could hear someone yelling out, um, he's got a knife. 
Um, officers saw the stabbing motion. Like, he's, like, like Director Romano said, they thought, he actually thought that the, uh, the victim had been stabbed several times because of the motions. Um, it's unfortunate that it worked out the way that it did. You, know, you don't want this to happen um, under any circumstance, but when officers see that kind of thing happen, they have to take action at some point and do what they have to do to try to save lives. And that's what they did in that, in that, in that case. Now the state attorney is going to investigate the entire scenario, uh, the entire situation. They will make a determination on, on its justifiable nature or not. Um, we'll just wait for that. But this is just what we're telling you from what we were able to observe in, in our investigation so far. A lot. That's all I can tell you. There was, there was quite a few people there. Several, more than once. I believe Director Romano said that, but more than once. That's correct. Yep. I believe you guys are alluding to this, but I just want to get a clear statement. This guy seemingly had nothing to do with anything that was going on until he walked. No, out. like I like like uh, Director Romano said, they they were investigating the carjacking. Um, they were speaking to the victim of the carjacking at the time when they heard the commotion from a, another another area close by. Um, they heard knife, uh, they heard um, what they heard. They went around the corner or just around the vehicle actually and saw uh, the, the incident taking place, saw the stabbing motions and all the other, and that's when they, that's when they took action. Was the person who was shot um, that age? Don't know that yet. Like, like I said, Unfortunately, I mean, we don't, we, we're not able to determine that. Um, like I said, this is early in the investigation and there's a lot that's gonna, that's gonna come out in the future, but um, we, don't, we just don't know that yet. All right. Thanks, 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 Thank you. Thank you.